God, our lines cross. We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to a day in the life. It has been a really long time since I have pretty much filmed anything. There was one video before this that went up last Thursday or Wednesday I believe and that was just like a nice relaxing B&M haul just to sort of try and get back into the whole filming routine um, and I'm just so excited to start filming again so I thought today I would film a day in the life kind of vlog style video so we could have a little bit of a chat and you can see what we've been up to and you can see George and all those kind of things um, so if you do enjoy these kind of videos, um, I know I haven't uploaded for a good three months or so. Um, I will explain why in a moment. Um, but if you do like these kind of videos, motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a viewer. I am aiming to post maybe two to three times a week, depending on what my schedule is like. I do also work full time alongside this. And I think the problem was before I was just putting too much um, on my plate in one go and I was just getting a bit overwhelmed with everything and it just sort of overtook me and then I didn't really feel like I could cope. So I'm just trying to take it a lot more slow this time and just enjoy it rather than forcing myself to put up content. So um, today I'm already dressed, it's quite early in the morning still, it's only around 8am. George is behind me here. But we are, we've got a few plans for today, but this evening we are having a barbecue. We are having my sister and brother-in-law over and their little girl um, for a barbecue in the garden. And our grass is huge. It's like living in the rainforest, it's that tall. So I need to go outside and I need to mow the grass. So I'm up early so I can get that done. Um, and I need to take a hay fever tablet because every time I seem to cut the grass recently, I seem to get the worst hay fever. So I need to make sure I take a tablet in just a moment. Um, and then once I've mowed the grass, and before everyone comes over later, we are actually going to go to the zoo today. Um, my mum bought us annual passes for Christmas, not just gone the one year before. Um, because of Covid, there was a bit of time that we couldn't obviously go. So they've actually extended them until uh, the 25th of July. Today is the 18th, I believe, so we've got a couple of days left to be able to use them. So we're gonna go for one last time today. And George has just really been into animals recently, so um, I'm excited to take him because I feel like he's just gonna love it. And there's a massive dinosaur park there as well. And I'll film some footage from there so you guys can see our little adventure to the zoo. Now, I'm not gonna go into loads of detail as to where I have been or why I haven't been filming, but in a nutshell, I've just been in quite a bad place mentally. Um, I can't really explain it. If you guys have watched my channel for quite some time, you'll know that I'm quite um, emotional or, I don't know, I've got some, I've got like a grudge or something over me about uh, everything that's going on with George and I sort of resonate all his problems to do with me and it's all my fault. Um, and then work got on top of me not just not home life but everything just seemed to get too much for me and I couldn't really explain why and I was just always in such a down mood all the time I had no motivation to do anything I had no passion to want to do anything so I took a week off work back in I think it was March or April I had started having some uh, counseling like some therapy just to try and talk a little bit about these feelings I'm having because they are horrible feelings and I'm not wanting to have them, especially whilst having a little boy and having a family. So we, I've, I've been having that, I've been trying to get back to a bit of normality and then a couple of weeks ago we actually went on a really lovely family holiday to Devon and it was just the best week of my life. It was me, my partner, my little boy George and then also um, his sister and her partner and their little girl um, and it was just the best week of my life and it was just nice to feel relaxed, not have to worry about anything um, and I came back from it or actually it was like the fifth day and I think I just sat there and turned to my partner and thought I just feel so happy and healthy and 
like I wanted to start getting back doing things again and I loved YouTube. I really enjoyed doing my blog and Instagram um, and filming videos for you guys way back in when I first started and during COVID and then it just sort of seemed to get too much but um, I'm trying to get back into it. I really do appreciate everyone's support that has subscribed to me during the time where I haven't been posting or watching my videos. I am really grateful. Um, but effectively, that is where I have been. So after our little chit chat there, I'm going to drink my cup of tea. I'm going to make sure George is okay. Um, and then I'm going to go out to the garden and I'm going to mow the lawns. So enjoy a little time lapse of me mowing the garden. sure how well you can see me because it seems really bright out here but I've finished mowing the grass pretty much I need to do a bit at the back but um, that's going to be a bit more difficult and then I'm going to pop all of this stuff that we have of like George's toys and like garden stuff back on the grass so yeah I'm going to finish the garden now probably take like another half an hour or so and I'm going to go inside have a shower and get ready to go to the zoo Okay, so garden is all finished. I've come in, I've had a shower. I wasn't going to wash my hair, um, but I just thought I would do that. I didn't have enough time to dry it or straighten it though. So I'm just gonna go with it wet um, and then hopefully I'll get some nice curls or something. I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on today. I just wanted to um, talk about a new foundation that I'd bought. So I normally use, um, I'm not really into makeup and I don't spend a fortune on makeup. Um, but I think it's like a Maybelline one that I normally buy. But by like 11 a.m. I put it on at eight, so my face just gets really oily um, and I feel like it just doesn't give me very good coverage. So I went to Boots the other day to buy some makeup and I just asked for their advice on something that I wanted that's gonna be quite matte, medium to full coverage, but something that isn't gonna wear off after a few hours. And I have been using this. This is the number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation. I've got this in the colour, I think it is Calico, um, is my colour, which is the palest one because I'm incredibly pale, but this has been working really well, so I pop it on at like 8am and then it doesn't seem to wear off until the evening, so it gets me through a full day of work, so um, I'm going to put some makeup on now and then we're going to head to the zoo, which George is very excited for, and um, to see all the animals, especially the tigers, because... He just won't stop hurrahing and roaring, whatever tigers do, but he is very, very excited. So, makeup. Let's get in the car and let's get off to the zoo and enjoy this little montage of me, my family at the zoo. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Trust in 
Using our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground from the zoo. I had a really lovely time. Um, George though for some reason is being really really weird and is now all of a sudden scared of dinosaurs although I think it is because he is learning like emotions so we keep saying like I'm really sad, I'm really happy, I'm scared, I'm scared. He's not scared of dinosaurs but he kept pretending he was and so that was fun and I mentioned obviously we have the annual passes so we do go quite a lot to the zoo um, but I've just remembered why we haven't gone for quite some time and it's because the park is so hilly and my legs and my arms and, like pushing the pram are just burning. Um, so I think that'll be like the last time we go for a little while um, and we'll hold off probably until after the summer because it is so hot when I mean, it's pushing things up a hill like the pram and just walking forever and ever like miles up hills it's not the best when you're sat there sweating but we are now home and if you can hear the lawnmower my partner is finishing mowing the lawn because it was quite wet when I did it this morning um so he's just going around now and sort of um not hoovering up but where all like the patches of wet grass were that are now dried we're just going back over them and um, kitchen is a little bit of a mess so I'm gonna sit and sort the house out before um there's some family get here to have a barbecue um and that's it really I probably won't film when my family are here um I don't know if they want to be filmed or it might just be a little bit awkward and um, especially as I haven't filmed anything for quite some time so I'm gonna clean the house He's going to finish mowing the garden and getting that sorted. We're going to put the swimming pool up for George. So I'll see if I can get some footage of him playing in the pool. Um, but if not, I will have a catch up with you guys a little bit later on um, once everyone has gone home. Good evening, everybody. It is currently 5 to 10. And we just had a really lovely evening. We had a really nice barbecue. We played some games. And it was just nice to have a bit of a catch up and a laugh. Um, I say catch up, we was just on holiday with them for like a week, but it was really nice spending time with them as always. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it for today. I haven't really done anything else this evening that was worth sort of filming or documenting, um, but I thought I would just come on and say thank you so much for watching. If you did watch today's video and you got all the way to the end, thank you so much. Um, and thank you for supporting my channel as always. And um, if you did enjoy it, please hit the big thumbs up button. button. Please hit the big thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you as a viewer um but yeah apart from that I think this is where I'm going to end today's vlog I'm going to probably get into my bed scroll through TikTok wash my face um and probably just eat a bag of chocolate sat watching TikToks because TikTok just seems to be my guilty pleasure that I'm not embarrassed to say I'm addicted to um so that is probably going to be my evening I look terrible my forehead is so shiny we've just been teaching George how to wash his face using a like a, a flannel or a loofah so I've kind of washed off like half of my makeup in certain places but you know that's just the life of being a mum and a parent but I'm gonna end this today here guys thank you so much for watching have a lovely rest of your weekend and I will see you in my next video which should be on Thursday take care thank you bye bye <laughs>